For sophomore Isaac Borrayo, dance isn't just a way to express himself. It's a way to shut out the negativity in his life. Earlier this year, Isaac decided to come out as gay to his friends and family. With my friends, I thought it was time to be myself around them. And then with my family, it was actually during an argument. And so I was like, why not now? And I just wanted to be myself around people. Isaac says his friends accepted him with open arms, but when it came to his family, it was a different story. My relationship with my parents changed a lot. Um, with my mom, I don't have the same communication I used to have before, and I'm just not as close to her as I used to be. Recent studies show that teenagers are coming out at a younger age than ever before. Information provided by Lambda Legal indicates the average age for lesbian and gay youth to come out is now 16 years old. Coming out earlier doesn't make it easier. Other studies show that gay youth are four times more likely than straight teenagers to attempt suicide. Isaac chooses to brush off the negativity through one of his passions. I'm currently in dance, and that's my passion. I really like it a lot. Um, so I just that's where I choose to let everything out. I just dance the pain away. If you don't dance like Isaac, you can join the LGBT support group in the South Mountain Counseling Office. It's a really safe place to come and be with other students who are LGBT or Q, so lesbian, bisexual, transgender, or questioning. Isaac maintains a 4.3 GPA while balancing dance and honors in AP classes. Life may be tough, but Isaac feels good about his decision. It's really, really hard, but it's better to be yourself earlier than to come out later in life because by hiding who you are, you're just affecting yourself, you're hurting yourself. If you're struggling with your sexuality, the LGBT support group joins in the counseling office every Tuesday. I'm Sol Hernandez for Jaguar News.